All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here, of course, for Made in Abyss, Abyss. episode 13, the finale. finale. Oh, this boy. is it, so... Midi is on the chopping block of characters to die. Just a bit. Technically, is that the first character who's actually died that we'll have seen on screen? I think so. Possibly. I think so. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. if you don't count, uh, well, no, Rico is never shown dying. Yeah. So, so you know? yeah, it could be pretty crazy. But um, we've got a lot of other mysteries that just popped up from the previous episode. Just a few. Uh, there's a potential showing up of the uh, the, the Bondrood the guy. Bondrood guy. Um, there's the Ugh. whole new stuff that's happening with the curse up top. Yep. Um, and what they found out about how the curse works in general. Yep. Um, there's the whole seeing the future monsters thing. Yeah, so the monsters down deeper below being more connected to the curse of the abyss right. and thereby using it in order to be more yeah. scary and uh, um, there's, effective killing machines. There's regs flashbacks. Right. Um, those kind of need to have something done with them. Yep. Um, and whatever it was that uh, Mitty was communicating to Rico. Yeah, there's a whole whatever, lot of Whatever things, that was that was happening. A whole lot of things that need to be explained. If but, that is some kind of essence transfer and that's why they're going to kill Mitty... I will, I will rage so hard. I, 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 I screw you, Nanachi. If that was that was what you're doing, but I think yeah. we're speculating right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just watch this episode right now and uh, see what happens. What? Oh, uh, because he, he oh, passed ha! out because of the he passed out. That's where it was inserted, you know. Mm. Oh, backstory. Here it goes. Oh, backstory. Oh no. Way. oh no. No way. His voice. <laughs> this guy is this not. This guy's effed up. Okay, no, this guy's villain status. Oh, this is being mirrored by what's uh -huh. going on up yep. here. Yep. yep. Did he Whoa. start the orphanage? Whoa. Holy. Oh, no. Wow. This is Midi, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm so glad we know how it's going to go. Aww. Aww. This is the friendship that's going to be just, mm -hmm, just ruined. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. And she's like Rico in a way. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. They need to explain what that is exactly. She's scared, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so, so messed up. I can just tell this is going to be so wrong. The abyssal faith. Yeah. Yeah, right. They don't even know what's going on. Right. Miti. Yeah. She alone? She's the last mm -hmm. one? Yep. Yeah. She's Good. sneaking out. Good. Okay, yeah. Miti. Miti. No, is she gonna have to watch it happen? Nanachi. <laughs> じゅんばんですよ。うん。です。あなた方が入ってるそれ呪いを片側に押し付けることができるんですよ。What this is so messed up. This is so messed up. 
Oh, come no. On. That's just gross. Are you serious? Oh, are, come are you on. kidding me? Are I mean, I expected <laughs> yeah, this, but, but, but come on. Don't look, don't, don't look, look, don't, don't look. Sick bastard. Disgusting. Which is no way. Horrible He's been torture. testing it. Doran Kudasai. Sritsbusta has no teasimo haete kiteimas. I'm getting angry. This, this isn't. The, the, there's, there's some lines that don't cross. I'm not sure I'm okay with this. Yeah, get her out of uh -huh. there. Yeah. Go, go, go. Go. And she's trying to see if any of her friend is still there. Yeah. Wow. そしたらミーティーは永遠に一人ぼっちだ。ミーティーはさ、物も食わないし死ぬこともない。悲鳴すら上げることもできず、魂を捕らわれたまま永遠にだ。フェイワースデンデス。ウェイワースデンデス。い
ち込んでる場合じゃないぞ。君も食うだろ。おい。まあ、お前順応性高すぎだろう。ああ。おい。She's awake. これでいいのか。Yeah. おい、あぶねって。メグ、おはよう。うん。おはよう。リコ。Death to life. Yeah. 闇上がりだから食いやすいシチュー作ってやろうとしたら、オイラの作り方にケチつけてくんだ。<笑>異様な匂いの正体を。<笑>いいよいいよ。丁寧にとっていってね。<笑>七地器用だね。いいよいいよ。Thank you, Sir Fluffy. おい、見てねえでどかしてくれよ。こいつオイラ見ても花からこんなんで。終わりたそうにしてんだよ。ナナチ、僕の時より嫌がってない気がする。ああ。まあ。よう味だぜ、味。なってしまう。ああ。It's so good. How can they do that? They just showed us yeah, horrible they, things and they're like, food, feel better. I'm like, oh, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> it was alright. <laughs> it's not like I like it or anything. Yeah. While you were sleeping,、um, yeah. Yeah, how do you know? Oh, good, here we go, here we go. Right. Oh, wow. She was understanding、mm -hmm. what it was like to be. Yeah. Yes. It's a good point. <laughs> お前たちが目指す場所から来たんだ。Uh, yeah. それって、例の。そんじゃ。早速準備した。Yeah. Don't spoil the happy moment. Right. You gonna send something up? Yes, so. How far up did it go? Yes. Yes. <sighs> oh, those are the little relics. They're little power cells. Oh, her signature. おめでとうナラチ。ついに成し遂げたんですね。No. Oh, wow. I don't have words for that. Yeah, that was incredible.、Um, that was. It was heart rending. Uh huh. It was poignant. It had, it, it had real heart in it. Yeah, that's, that, that's the main thing that I loved about it. It wasn't just like it set up the, the whole, you know, villain guy.、Um, yeah. But the, the finale was about. You know, it, it was continuing the it, journey. It was about continuing the journey. It was, it was、yeah. a, it was a completely character focused, completely character、finale. focused. And thank you. Holy, yeah, that was like, oh my gosh, so character focused. That was one of the things you could say is that this entire bit of journey、mm -hmm. was for them to meet someone and change their world, basically. Yeah, basically, meet someone、right. like Nanachi. And save them. Yeah, that's that. That's one of those things that like there are a lot of like、uh, nods at Ghibli, and I think that's one of the one of the big ones. Like the idea that these kids, the very fact that they're kids, that that kind of innocence, that that、yeah. just you know friendship and、belief. and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, that that can that can, that can do, overcome anything. Do in yeah exactly. Yeah. So. <sighs> There's so much to discuss, though. I think, I think we'll we'll probably relegate it to this instead of having a stream, like on discussion and things like that. Yeah, yeah.、Um, Because this, this what it did was it 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 opened up a lot more questions, and I'm、did. glad that they didn't go through the whole idea of just explaining a whole bunch of right. things. Right. They yeah. Instead,、mm. what they focused on was rather. Giving the characters themselves, all of them, you know, waking, you know, being awake for this and having、yeah. a very powerful connection that they share together based、right. upon、um, the fact that they're all here together. They're not alone. They, they're going to help、yeah. each other. They're going to support each、mm -hmm. other. They have a journey to continue onward with. And, and the, 
and the aspects of all these horrifying, horrible things that have happened to them mm-hmm. aren't something to where they're going to be, you know, just simply, you know, demoralized or defeated by that. Right. But it's, it was those parts in particular where I was like, why, why are you doing this? Like, this is so, this is so horrifying, but I mm-hmm. feel like, I feel like I understand a little bit of why they chose this route for the story of mm-hmm. going through these horrifying things it's not just for the shock and awe aspect of where people are just gonna be like oh my gosh yeah it's going to be it's it's going to be that bit where you have to contrast the good exactly with yep. the bad and the shadow proves the sunshine i was, I was about to say that exact yeah. thing yeah when you see the heart that rico and rag have for each other mm-hmm. It's yep. contrasted so perfectly with the horrors of the the depths of the abyss. Right. And then when you bring in a neutral third party into the mix, they have their own horrors that have been inflicted yes. upon them. Mm-hmm. And you get to see how powerful that, what is in many ways considered kind of a cheesy thing, the power of friendship. Right. But actually is so much it's stronger so strong. than anything, yeah. anything the abyss can send their way. It's the idea of it has to be strong enough to where we could potentially doubt the power of friendship, essentially. Right. The, the connection. Yeah. I'd but, say using the, pra- the phrase power of friendship has a little bit too much negative connotation with some people. It does. Because but it, it's really it's, the connection. The yeah. human connection. Right. The, the shared oh, humanity. Boy. The aspect of people yes. being able to look into each other's eyes and see their soul. Yep. Sometimes literally. Uh, sometimes I'm really literally. glad they doubled the length of this episode. That um, was a really clever choice. Yeah, because like even though like okay, and and kind of a kind of a ballsy move too because plot-wise it was Rico's recovery, the backstory, and then Nanachi's backstory. Yeah. And that was that was basically it. But they wanted to make sure that they gave the amount of like they wanted to give due process to all of the moments so you could really feel them. If they right. had if that had been, you know, 25 minutes shorter, you could tell that they the, gave some times of lingering moments. Oh, and that, yeah. that, that part where Reg is ready to kill Mitty. Uh-huh. And, and then, then she's and like, then she's wait! No, wait. And and that, she runs and like, I'm so sorry. I love you. I, I can't, you know, I can't. Oh, man. Uh, oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. you guys got to watch us suffer through that. Oh, I feel good. like that's a little bit of the portions. The idea that, um, <sighs> you you know, it's a princess bride. You mock my pain. Life, Life is, is pain, pain, Highness. Anyone who says otherwise is selling something. The idea except, that the idea that except that's not it. Yeah, it's not exactly it. But the idea that that is the the villain who's basically saying, right. "I will, I will give you all your wildest dreams and take you down here." And yeah, he he goes down into like the level of antagonist that's like lowest of the low of the right. low. Like we're, we're, show Tucker. You don't want to kill them. You want to torture them. Oh, you want to just completely like, destroy that guy. Yeah. That. that mm. Um. Mm. But anyway, the aspect of having the this really horrible thing be uh, just contrasted by the connection of just pure humanity. Yeah. Coming in exactly. contact with other people that have mm-hmm. doubted their humanity. You have right. Reg the robot, and you have Nanashi the Hollow. Yeah. And. I, I don't I don't I don't know what to say about this. Like I, I I'm with you. I, I feel like the I feel like the story in of itself is meant to rob you of a little bit of your innocence at the expense of communicating the deep emotions of like what humanity pushes through to right. find some kind of meaning. Yeah, and uh, I I love that. Okay, the 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 thing that the thing that brought them out of it was sort of the the, the friendship and all that stuff, um, but also mm-hmm. the the conflict was just over a yeah. friend. Yeah. And oh, wow, that right. It wasn't some grand plot to stop the evil bad guy. No, nope, it, was it wasn't. Just, it's just um, some to grand mystery to just discover to the friend. depths of the abyss. It yeah. was to save a person's life. And like, okay. So, so what do we always talk about with characters? Ways to make make the audience care about them, make them um, uh, have contradictions. Yeah. Make them uh, care. Yes. Deeply. And make them struggle. Right. And oh my gosh, 
Nanachi's character that... alone got so much just from this, but yeah. but even more than that, Reg, yeah. Nico, mm-hmm. Midi, you get the full gamut of the the human experience in this whole thing. But I, oh man, like I, I gotta tell you, I could not just simply sit down and rewatch this. No, one no. of the things that I, I feel yeah. like they they pushed the envelope a bit is how heavy they could get with kids, and I feel like there's this right. psychological boundary we have with regards to showing what can be done to kids in mm-hmm. some kind of television thing. Yeah, and they they found their work around that boundary because I feel like it was. It was just a bit too far, but they right. reeled it back in at the end yeah. by making the focus be around these characters. Right, and yes, and that's the that's the big redeeming thing about this is that is is that or or rather that's the reason that them going that little bit too far isn't. No, it's irredeemable, Jacob. Mm. Right? Yeah. No, no, but it's it's the fact I that know. they're they were focusing on the right thing, even though they used it for yeah. shock. They weren't doing it just for the sake of shock. They're yeah. doing it to convey how, like, just what that would do to the person who has to watch it, and then how that completely, you know, made it so that her whole existence after that point was just revolved around this incident that happened, you know, however long ago it was. And and <sighs> how, how important it was to her to be able to have Mitty pass on and and it's 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 those that kind of thing that makes it so that when she says wait yeah. stop don't do it yet and she goes up and she says goodbye i'm sorry i love you all that that's, that's what makes it mm-hmm. yeah that's when the feels just go and you're done yeah, and there's no breaks there's no breaks um um and uh, i'm really glad uh, they had those happy moments like uh, but but ha- having the happy moments after the the heavy stuff cause yeah because they could have just been... led up from happy to the all you know mm-hmm. encompassing just black hole of yeah of just depression but um they chose to bookend the horrible thing mm-hmm. with the happy it's kind of the 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 hero sandwich as it were right you put the uh piece of crappy netherworld stew uh yes and yes it's uh some slabs of really good meat made mm-hmm. by Rico and what have you. So what were you going to oh. say? So, yeah, I felt like you were going to comment on something. Well, I was going to say that the place I was at an episode or two ago was very much um, plot theories and guessing about the way things are going to go. Right. And with this single episode, they used a very beautifully tragic thing in order to turn the whole show's premise yeah. really completely on its head. Right. One so, of the things that you think mm-hmm. about is the idea of what is the abyss? Why is the abyss here? All those questions about the abyss, the abyss, the abyss. Mm-hmm. But they took the bat they had the a little bit in the abyss where she's about the abyss where she's talking about the the book, how the abyss right. has replaced many people as their god, and there's a lot of mm-hmm. religion about it. But the whole story is not about the abyss it is about characters overcoming struggle Mm -hmm. the abyss is a representation of that struggle because humanity's whole story is just struggle so them going through this very focused intense painful struggle is kind of the thing of saying like guys we need empathy in the world we need more yeah. compassion in the world. Yeah. Because it's the thing that saves people like Nanachi. It's the thing that saves people like Midi. It's the thing mm-hmm. that saves people like Rico. And it's the thing that makes people like Reg really, like, make a huge difference in the world. Yeah. Like, because Reg, we don't know why he does the things that he does. We know that he no. has a lot of care for, uh, you know, Rico and such. Yeah. But we know that he has questionable origins. We know that he has things that mean that he he might not necessarily be doing this of his own free will or what have you. Sure. There's all kinds of questions we have about that, but it's not about what those answers are. Right. It's not about the why. Yeah. It's about the who. It's about these yes. people here who yep. are dealing with the struggle and they are going through it. I feel like the Montium keep moving forward thing is uh-huh. important here, but that has some negative connotations with the abyss kind of intentionally wanting them to keep moving right. forward. So, I feel like we 
we can't reemphasize enough how powerful a story like this can be because they choose to not shy back from showing how difficult the struggle that is life can really be. While at the same time making the main focus be the kids, the characters, and how they overcome it, the way they handle it. Right. And not the struggle itself. Right. I think that's a that's a point that um, the uh, creator of this story might not have like perfectly in hand but at the very least they're aware of it right and they are intentionally making steps taking steps to make sure that that is a running theme throughout everything yep. so far even all the way up as we kind of did that soft recap by sh watching the little thing float all the way back up to the top we see all the struggles that mm -hmm. they've overcome and they've yeah. gone past and such right uh, we see the hope of the impossible return we see mm -hmm. uh, all these things that kind of help make their struggle worthwhile yeah we don't know if any of this is worthwhile but that's life guys mm -hmm. the idea that we had been constantly predicting about what the past was like for reg and what the future will hold, uh -huh. hold for rico and all this yep. stuff is ignoring the fact that every day in life is a present struggle and the yeah. abyss in this story is about that present struggle and people mm -hmm. overcoming it despite it just absolutely just tearing you apart and you need people in your life yep. in order to be able to survive the parts where you do get torn asunder like Rico. Right. She could not have made this journey without Reg. Reg yeah. could not have made this journey without Rico. Yep. They could not have either of them made survived without, without Nanachi. Nanachi. Yep. And the fact that yes, all this crazy stuff happened in a way to put them all on this little converging path together. Mm -hmm. You could say that they're going for some kind of fatalistic look at this. No. I, I say that they're re-emphasizing the point that the connection of humanity is so important because the struggle of right. our environment, of our day-to-day -day lives is so hellish sometimes that you need, you need people yeah. to see yourself through it. So that's my little rant. That was what I was wanting to say. Um... <laughs> One of the things that I noticed uh, with how they handled <sighs> Mitty, at the beginning when we saw Mitty, we were we were we were grossed out. We were like, "Whoa, that's scary! What what what's right. she doing to Rico?" You know, all yeah. that. Um, and it just sort of made me think like, how often are people basically maybe turned into something that we would see as ugly? Mm -hmm. And. And the, the instinct might be, you know, uh, gross, what is that thing? You know, get it away. Right. Um, but, you know, how the song goes, all you need is love, right? Right. Um, and Nanachi with, you know, just that simple sort of believing heart and stuff um, mm. was able to save Mitty. Somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. And... Yeah. Right, and it's and it's that idea that right because because she wasn't able to turn her back to normal. Right, right, and and a lot of times you know the, with the with the ugly stuff that happens in this world, you can't make the ug ugly stuff stop. Right, but it's not about making the ugly stuff stop. Mm -hmm. It's about being with the people through it all. Right, and knowing that you're not alone. I'm right here with you. I love you, mm -hmm. and we're in this together. Right. God, this show. Oh man, but um. I think I'm just about ready to talk about some plot theories. Okay. But I think they I think they did some really crazy stuff here. Mm -hmm. The whole idea of them having that forward base is yeah. not as crazy as the idea that they brought them from the orphanage down all the way. Right. That means that they basically have an actual tunnel with a lift. That goes straight down. Uh, that that that's part of it, sure. Mm -hmm. But that could be could have been destroyed. Like once they left, they could have been like, "This is our last chance," and they sure. destroy it upon their whatever. But the idea that the original purpose of this orphanage might not have been anything to do with training them up to go down this area, that b b b whatever his name is, uh -huh. um, he originally may might have even been the one that had the orphanage right. there to select basically experiment fodder 
for Possibly. them to be taken down. And that's why there's all the torture chambers and stuff in there. Uh, the experiment sure. started there. Okay, and yeah. And then over time, they've gone down further and further, and that's why they built that. And it became something there. else. Yeah. It became um, something else entirely. One of the things they did make a point of saying, though, was that he didn't get the kids originally from that orphanage. He brought them from some northern country, brought them to the island, and then... Sure. So... But they all wanted to go down to the island. That's the part. I mean, right. not the island. Wow, we're thinking about lost already. Yeah. Um, to the go abyss. down to the abyss. Yeah. yeah. Um, of course, that also could have just said that you know, like they're the little kids. They they don't necessarily know any better. Sure, Certainly didn't possibly. know what they were getting into. Um, hmm. and There's a little bit of dissonance of uh, the timeline, though, with regards to that, because we don't know how old um, Nanachi. Oh is. yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, right, but but. Uh, but she said that Mitty was about um, Rico's age. So that either means that Mitty was Rico's age when it all started, mm -hmm. or that means that... Yeah. Um, you don't know, though. You don't know. And yeah. if it... And, right, with that whole timeline thing, that would mean it's more likely that it isn't the um, the orphanage itself. That's not how it started. But it could, because we have seen White Whistles that live for a very long time. Right. Um my yeah. my thing is that I'm confused about them being up there and then uh, bring everyone down here and that being an actual part of the orphanage and such. Oh, unless it's a completely different. I think area. it might it might be something completely different because I get the feeling that the I forget the guys the assholes guys name again, <laughs> yeah. um, but. I get the feeling that that way down was something secret that he knew about specifically. Possibly. Because it seemed like, um, cause there was, there There's was the a guy that questioned him. There was the guy that questioned him and he probably died, yeah. but he didn't have a helmet on one of those helmets, mm -hmm. but there were people that did have those helmets. So I right. get the feeling that those people, um, are in on it, are in on it, right. but the other people might not have been. So, okay. um, I, I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, the bit that actually a little bit confuses me mm -hmm. is the last bit, right? Where there's the sort of relics that have their little yeah with the, the little light on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's and like, then oh, went out. Her reading uh, is gone. Yeah, you finally were able to do it, Nanachi. Yeah, good job. I can't wait to meet you again, or something. Yeah. So like he could tell that Nanachi had Midi killed. Right. Um, I, I, I think we're, that's what we're yeah, guessing yeah. that yeah, that's, was. Yeah. I think that's pretty obvious. It's yeah. pretty obvious, yeah. Now, how he was able to do that, that's the real question. Because there didn't... Unless he, like, somehow implanted her with something. Or, or there, I think that's a very real possibility. Or it's something like the curse being read by exactly. the creatures. Yep. And each person gives off some kind of wavelength. In right. the because yeah, it did deal. say that it gets warped by people. Yes. So, mm -hmm. so everyone's signature or their reading, so to speak, mm -hmm. would be detectable if you had the equipment. And maybe this equipment is left over from people yep. who died a long time ago and stuff. But you realize how many uh, plot threads they left un. Oh yeah. Closed. Yep. I've never watched a show that I liked this much. That did that? That did this much. So blatantly, too. So blatantly. Well, yeah. I feel like this is an example of kind of the question we got uh, in a podcast a while ago, where it's like, what do you feel about stories that uh, end kind of abruptly with cores and stuff like that so oh yeah that don't actually right yeah this show needs to get continued like it like, does but it might I, not oh uh, yeah i could see that being something that is a little tough after how like brutal this brutal was. this episode was but i'll bet you they still the, made this, bank in terms of like how oh yeah how good it was oh yeah it's hard to market it right honestly yeah <laughs> You yeah. kind of market it a little bit like the uh, uh -huh. the orphanage does with the abyss. You're like, oh, it's a cute, fun adventure. <laughs> well, hey, but okay, now now you know that they were prepping us the whole time. What they did with Ozen, right? That was prepping us. Uh -huh. What they did with the. But I called Rico. that. I think yeah. we both knew that uh -huh. was yes. We yes. knew that was we real, did. what was going on. 
But we it's the idea that even if you know something like that's coming, you're not actually you're ready for it. You're never ready. You're never ready for it. So they, they showed us subdued, you know, bits of it so that that way we wouldn't just, you know, just punch the computer just, yeah, or whatever. punch the computer and run away or yeah, something yeah. like that. Um, Which is, in a way, another reference on the subtle brainwashing they do to the kids yeah. to get them prepared for this kind of thing. That's true. I think also, in a way, it might be a little bit of a commentary on people nowadays being desensitized to uh, horrifying things. Sure. Because when you get this much, like, let's say, news about people dying and stuff like that. Right. Because the news is now, you know, very big and we get all this instant access to information around yep. the globe. And we hear about all these tragedies and things like that. Yeah, you, you can't help but become numb to it to you, some level. It's it's really messed up, actually, yeah. because it's it's very hard, I would say, not to become numb to it. Right. To some extent, of course. Yeah. You you will still have your things that will you, right. you will definitely not be numb to. It'll be like, oh, no, that pisses but, me off. But then there'll be other things where you'll be like... Like you yeah. can't you can't internalize everything because you're not built to internalize the right. weight of the problems of the world. Yeah, humans are built to adapt to whatever situation they're in. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is an example of that where uh, they basically had like a forced experimentation where they put the burdens of the world into a character mm -hmm. to try and have the other one become something better. Right and. Then we got MIDI. I really hope... Okay, because this, this anime obviously made some waves, right? Oh, some serious um, waves. Some I'm serious sure. waves. I'm so sure. So I'm, I, I really hope that when future stories look back on this one and they're like, wow, this one was really good, I hope they don't basically rip off the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. They don't yes. see it as being like, mm -hmm. oh, that means we need to make our, our stories even darker and more brutal and stuff like that. No, because that's... That's that is that's not bull it. crap. No, that's not how, that's not why this show's so good. Um, no. Because that would that would really suck if if, if this it became a new wave of of like basically escalation on brutality. Yeah, like brutality. Um, like, yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's one of those things where I can tell that they yes, they were inspired by Madoka Magica. Absolutely. Like, yeah. Yes. But I wonder how much of it though. Right. Because did you notice the elements of kind of the I would say the love story to friendship, whatever. Yeah. Of Nanachi and uh Midi mm -hmm. being very being very similar in that regard to the relationship to Kyoko and the Saika? main the main two characters in uh, oh. uh Madoka. Sure. Kind of in the way that one's trying to protect the other. Yeah. And one ends up being basically the one that saves the other. Oh, oh, over. gotcha. But yeah. like Okay, I see. Can't seemingly do anything to make it right. change the outcome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a little bit different, but Yeah, it is. But um but the, the inspiration is definitely But there. the brutality is lessened there, but it is still there in that right. story as well. Yeah. Yeah. Because in that one, it was more about... Psychologically, like, just... The weight of having to keep trying exactly. to save someone over and over and over again. Right. Or just the the the, the, the deal they had, you know. Huh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We won't uh, go too much into the details there. Right. Yeah. But, um, um, wow. Um, I am so glad we watched this show, though. Mm-hmm. I am so glad. I'll... Have Unfortunately, I can't like recommend it to everyone exactly. I know. Yeah, so because because reasons. Um, I know a lot of people whose stomachs wouldn't be able to make it past oh, episode absolutely ten. Not. Yeah, yeah. Like the minute that happens, they'll be like, no, nope, uh huh, no, nope, can't do it. Um, I think that they 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 kind of. Hmm, I don't know how they confirmed it necessarily, but. They kind of revealed, I would say, by bringing up the whole thing of the the abyss being basically their god, mm -hmm. and by having freaky armor guy, yeah, basically see it as like their explorations of this world is basically these are like his child sacrifices in a way, mm -hmm. and I think that they're getting into that idea that 
the White Whistles in particular yeah. are basically like a recruiting center for the, the cult of the Abyss. Like, those that, desi- those that desire to become the best mm-hmm. to explore the Abyss, there's kind of this thing of, hush, hush, we don't talk about it at the Orphanage, but we need people who will by any means necessary understand the Abyss. Like, they will do whatever it takes. Um, possibly, but so, I think at the same time... Since there's, I mean, they're on the. Fifth. I'm just saying the complicitness between the people up top and what's going down at the bottom. Right, but there, there is some complicit. Yes, but there could also be it. a huge um, gap in like information mm, because that's, that's my because point. it's mm-hmm. like that most like I was surprised that the hot air balloon thing even made it up that far. They do like like and I think it's it supposedly like, extremely rare. Right, and I think they got it like repaired at uh, at the, at the secret house. Place. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and uh, Ozen knew that was them. Like, oh yeah, oh totally. It's like uh, that, yeah. that kind of that half smile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but so this is on the fifth level, right? Where where it was all going down. The people that go down there probably don't really ever like go back up. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Although although the bad guy did at least once, so yep. so it can happen. But right. you know, and of course the white whistles have to at some point because yeah, they do come up at some you know sometimes, right? Not necessarily. They might just bring up their whistle and be like, "All right, there it is." Well, Pass yeah, like uh, but like with Ozen, we know that you know she at least did that, and she and she had gone yes. to the the fifth level. And it's based on what relics I think that you uh, uh right you use to help you. Yeah, that probably has a lot to do ascend. with it. But um, so that the the bad guy he could just he he might just rule the the fifth level basically possibly and it's like that that station that's his kingdom and right anything any information that goes up to the surface it's only what he wants to go mm-hmm. up there and like because ozen knew that he was he was she she described him as a scoundrel so that means that means that she probably didn't know the extent of what was going on down there. I agree. Because she was telling everything to them, right? So yeah. that means even amongst the White Whistles, he probably is is playing a bunch of them. Yeah, I agree. Which, that's, that is, that's really... I just don't believe he's the only bad White Whistle. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. He's just the, uh, maybe the worst. Um, I think that to an extent, though, mm-hmm. there have been rumors about him. Probably. And the idea is yeah, that exactly. the idea and Ozen is that knows a bit maybe, but she doesn't know. Exactly. I think they choose not to know, though. I think that the reason why the top doesn't know everything and every anything and everything about him and what the white whistles do is because they have a little bit of a well, we don't need to know. It's the idea that you yeah. are making progress for humanity, so right. any means necessary is important. Well, and right, and they're probably not thinking like, oh, he's you know experimenting on children and stuff. No, no, but, no, no one makes that it's, jump. Right, but it's the know, idea that it's like, oh, we trust you. You know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, you're the greatest among us. Exactly, and then you know, and and if there was one random crazy rumor, people tend to yeah. not believe what they don't want to believe because because, because, because it's remember, too outlandish for them. But remember the thing about them saying that they oh, they, yeah, they the, take anything the white whistles say as face value, but anything from someone that could have been yes. lost their humanity and stuff. They oh don't my take gosh, it seriously. Yes. That, oh holy crap! Yeah, mm-hmm. and that and that kind of makes sense too because the abyss can mess with people's minds and do all yeah. that crazy stuff, but. Oh yeah, but white whistles. They are the best of the best. They're, yeah, they're they're paragons of virtue. Oh, and, how the mighty have fallen! Yeah, I get it. It's kind of like a Jedi turned Sith kind of thing, uh-huh. where you have basically these people that have served humanity. They've served the greater good for so long that they have twisted their own ideology, and that right. the greater good is just the abyss is just yeah it's just whatever the yeah. goal is uh-huh. and anything in the way stands yeah. in between them and the greater good so therefore wow yeah children they're just fuel for our discovery of the world like that mm-mm, mm-mm. i think okay. i've seen a couple stories where they have like an evil for the sake of being evil character and they do stuff like this and to be honest not in some like cold like chilling way it's kind of laughable right because you you breaks the immersion of exactly the, this is you so can't take stupid. it seriously right yeah but this the, the way he spoke his yep. arm motions like when the he way like they held made his... attached to the kids that he was experimenting on mm-hmm. um yeah you 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 don't 
take it in a comical way. You instantly go, this, this is disgusting. Is, this yeah. is wrong. Yeah. It, 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 mm. I, I want, think, I want to see, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. I want to see Ozen. Oh, yeah. I want to see Ozen go down there. And break his back. Like, no, no, no. Just... No, I, no, not break his back. That's that's, that's too easy. <laughs> Basically, well, there are many things I want Ozen to do. can still feel things after he's paralyzed, you know, a little yeah. bit. No, but here's what I want to have happen. I want him to be put in the tubes. Well, no. See, see, here's the thing, Jacob. One of the the aspects about this show that I think they'll, they'll end up doing mm -hmm. is... That guy is not going away anytime soon. No. But but these kids are going to be kind of the Scooby Doo characters to his uh -huh. like, you know, fake ghost guy. I would right. have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those three darn kids. It's yeah. not going to be Ozen stepping in and doing something horrible to Sure. Him. It's yeah. going to be these kids overcoming adversity. He is just another right. lump in the, yes. the, the pile right. of adversity. Right, right, exactly. Because the way that this show has been doing things so far is that it's that that very fact that the inner resources, you know, of these kids and the fact that they right. that that power of friendship and everything that yes. is going to end up taking him down and the fact that he's, you know, this this terrifying disgusting thing yeah. will make it even more satisfying. It will make it very satisfying. Oh, it'll make it I, so I really satisfying. do hope that they get another um, season anime season of oh, this. Oh, absolutely, me too. But I feel like, I feel like it's going to be very hard to convince, like big Amazon executives to. I mean, I don't know because Amazon did distribution, but they didn't create this. So. Oh no, absolutely not. No, so no, so the, huh. they, no. I, I think I think it should be fine because of the amount of waves that it's made. Because you know maybe the talks. manga sales after this season spike oh, so much. Oh, they that, are going to go up like crazy. I mean, I'll they bet probably they already have. Like, I don't generally, I don't generally read manga like at all. It's mm -hmm. not really because I don't like it, or I can't read right to left or anything, but I really enjoy how well some of these things can end up being animated. Yeah. To where I'm always like, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, I'm glad I yeah. didn't watch. If, if we if we knew that this I mean, was I didn't, coming, I didn't, I didn't um, read the read, read the, the manga. manga. Yeah, yeah. If we knew that this was coming, it wouldn't have had the same impact. It still would have been a crazy amount of impact, but it wouldn't have been the same. Right. Um. Yeah. In fact, we might not have we might wanted not have watched to watched because yeah. we have been like, well, I don't want to see that uh, animated. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to hear that. Right. I think actually this this shows visuals. We're not as bad as it's yeah. audio. The audio is what really got me. Whether whether it's, you know, Mitty screaming or 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 but or, or, or Rico crying and the yeah. arm breaking. Yeah, or, or Nanachi saying no stop. Yeah. Like she said wait. Yeah, wait, wait, but yeah. wait. Yeah, but <sighs> that's still fresh in my mind. I can still hear it. I close my eyes and th there it is. Yep. <sighs> wow. Absolutely. Props just, to the voice I'm, actors. I'm stress eating here. Yeah. Um, it was so. Um, it's hot and so intense. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god. Uh, but where, where, like, I know there's a lot of open plot threads and such like that. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to really do too much speculation on this. Right. But where do you see the story going from here in the immediate sense? They're going to go um, down. They're going to continue right. their journey. And they're in the the current objective is the fifth level which has the sea of corpses the sea of corpses which has the stupid dude's place anyways well um, is so, it yeah and and well and there was that point when this is at like the bottom of the fifth level though because he right takes yes them yes down it is that's true to the sixth level through the sixth level yeah through the elevator thing but mm -hmm. but um nanachi was specifically saying like oh yeah you know i the that's where you're wanting to go or whatever or that's where you're headed eventually you know because they do well have the to... sea of corpses was where the burial ground was the, the 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 fake grave for um liza was it yeah but i feel like liza is further down from there and right potentially further than the sixth level okay yeah yeah i could see that um but they i think they will have to go through the dude's facility like, like that's, or, or at least they'll, like, they won't be able oh, to just ignore it. Oh, but could you see it being like a, we're going to save the kids that are there if they are bringing any more? We're going to shut this place down. It could oh, be yeah. like an oh, infiltrate yeah. that, and attack thing. That, that could be so 
Maybe they Freaking recruit awesome. another white whistle that yeah. Like could maybe join maybe them. they get or well no he'd be able to tell that Reg is not a regular person. I was right. gonna say they could they could have Reg sabotage it where he goes into experiment on Reg but Reg's immune to the curse of the abyss. So he yeah. goes in there and then just blows it up with his incinerator. That would be a great. That would thing be so awesome. Like Reg is the one that uh, basically turns it on his head as being a potential you know fuel source. But then mm-hmm. they end up having him. But they, the he'd be thing. able to tell he's a robot. If he can't tell Reg is a robot, then oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Uh, my dumbest wow. theory I think I've had this whole season was the idea that Liza was the 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 bad guy. <laughs> oh yeah, well no, I I, I get that because the question is like, why did she tell her kid to come down into the abyss? I'm you know, still confused like, by that, but I don't want to go into right. that because there's there's just exactly. infinite ways it here's, could be going. Here's the, here's the way that I could see it going, is that mm-hmm. if you continue on the abyss long enough, maybe you come out into a different world. Like a portal. Basically. Like the abyss goes so down. There's some kind of I, yeah. Einstein-Rosenberg bridge or whatever <laughs> at the bottom. I, yeah, something like that or, or other. No, but, I, I think there are... There is something at the bottom. I think that's a that's a point they're trying to make. Okay. Hey, here's a but, but dumb, the, here's a dumb theory that might have just been accidentally confirmed. Reg was with Liza. We know that uh-huh. now, right? Yeah. They said that Liza didn't write the letter. What if Reg wrote that letter and he just doesn't oh. remember? It's like the most basic oh, yeah, connection yeah. there. Yeah. Like maybe he, he was that. the one that did that and they sent he she sent them both up. Right. Maybe and maybe even he was going up with it to make sure that it got near the right. top, you know? Yeah. 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 I just think that's a that's a real possibility. That is a possibility. That's a really good possibility. But with uh, with Liza wanting her to go down into the abyss, yeah. the only reason it makes sense is if there's something, there's some, like, good de- good thing about the bottom of the abyss, right? Well, there's, there's... Like, there's some goal in mind. Exactly. And it's not just getting there. Right. It's why we're getting there. Exactly. And we can't know what that is. Though. Yeah, because it's still a mystery. It's the point. It's all a mystery. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, oh. oh, boy. Yeah, there are, there were some multiple tear-bending moments of just, just a bit craziness. Yeah. Um, I feel like I, I want to give, like, uh, like kind of a, a special note for this show being able to handle the small cast so well yeah because they they but, yeah but i mean it's it didn't get it wasn't as small at the end uh that's true and they they did have those little nods back at the people up top but that did yeah those don't really count like um and it did take three episodes for them to go into the abyss yeah so they they only had 10 episodes of actually being in the abyss right you know but yeah, they were able to do it with a dual uh, set of dual main characters for the most part. Mm-hmm. And then they brought Nanachi in. Yeah. Yeah. This is pretty good stuff. Yes. I, I feel Ooh. like I can't discuss it to the heartiest that I would want to because the emotional weight of right. the, everything it's, just weighed on me so strong. But I want you guys to know that like that last bit where I went on that little tirade about humanity and all that, Oh, That's yeah. really important for this show to be communicated because I feel like too many yes, people will talk absolutely. about it the at just the extreme and, uh, things. Yeah. The extreme mystery, the extreme horror, the extreme yeah. adventure, the extreme mm-hmm. curiosity, the extreme crazy visuals and all right. that stuff. And they'll miss the heart of this show. Yes, This is absolutely. about humanity right. overcoming struggle. Yep. It is about overcoming that struggle together. That is a very simple quintessential theme in almost every story you will find ever but they do it really good in this but one but they do it really good in this one yeah and to not pay special attention to that theme going throughout the entire show uh is a disservice to this show right. and that's why i agree with jacob you don't want someone ripping off the wrong Just things about those this. like four other things the yeah. the crazy visuals the crazy mystery the crazy horror the brutality and the and... um I, I don't know yeah. the, 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 what else the crazy plot theory kind of stuff sure. I, I, don't, I don't know but the yeah cuz the heart of this show made it into something grand exactly. otherwise it would have been just a, an average show right yeah oh <sighs> so wow all right, well, uh, have fun editing that down to, you know. Yeah. 
whatever. That's going to uh, going be to interesting. Fun. Yeah, just just a little. Whew. All right, well, guys, thank you so much for watching this with us. Yeah. Thank you so much for recommending this to us. Oh my gosh, yes. Wow. Yeah, this is something. And here's to waiting until season, season two. three or season two. 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 Yeah. Why do they say season three? I don't know. Because you're already one step ahead of yourself. I'm already thinking yeah, yeah. ahead. Mm -hmm. See, I'm so like tied into the curse of the abyss that I'm seeing the future and that like season two That's is right. all like, confirmed yeah. already. Yeah. Oh man. Wait. Rippling effects being no, 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 more no, no, no. things. Is this a JoJo's record? <laughs> okay. Never mind. Alright guys. Uh I guess, uh, yeah. yeah. If you want to see the uh, first episode of first episode of whatever we're doing next, next. yeah, uh, go check out the link in the description <laughs> below for our Patreon's early access. And get on that and uh, check out our Discord as well. And yeah, we'll uh, see you all there. Until then, semblance of sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.